the reason I'm making this video is that little guy right there. It's called a Sarsense. And um, it seems to me that people are having a problem setting it up. And I had an awful problem setting this thing up. And I hated it. I was going to sell it, send it back, do something with it, stomp on it, hit it with a baseball bat. I don't know. wasn't sure. And then I figured it out, and now we get along. So I want to help you understand how it works. First thing that's really important, see that? That's a cap. you got to take this off to make it work. And <laughs> I've done it a couple of two, three times. I like to keep this lens in there nice and clean. But uh, on occasion, I forget to take the damn cap off. So right now, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put the cap back on so it stays clean. I don't want any pollen or dust getting on there. I know it's really a precision instrument. What it is, is it's a camera. And this takes um, a look at the night sky. And it's not night right now, but it takes a look at the night sky, tries to figure out where it is, and it tells this mount um, basically where it is and how to skew to this star and that star. And you, you use this controller here and it's a special controller that comes with the star sensing and uh, with this you're able to find anything you want to find in the night sky if things are working and that's a problem <laughs> so the way I've set it up I hate typing in the time and the location every shot so I got this overpriced GPS unit here the uh, sky sync and it, it truly is a great contraption it does what it supposed to do it uh, sits here and it waits for me to turn the button on here there's a button on off and then it starts looking around for GPS and it finds it oh we got road noise here and it finds the GPS and it uh, it, it basically tells the star sense it, actually all, all the thinking goes on in this little stupid box right here this is where all the thinking goes on. So it tells us that I'm at this longitude, that latitude, and it even figures out the time. Now, one of the problems with StarSense is sometimes it forgets about this. The whole system says, well, uh, what time is it? Where are you? I, I don't understand. Now, I've never changed anything, any of my options, but every now and then it will just forget about this thing here. So I... Um, uh, I will go in there and I'll clear things out. I'll do a reset on everything and everything works fine after that. Get yourself familiar with how to find the reset on this. The problem is if you give this guy the wrong information, unfortunately it remembers it. So <laughs> that's been my experience every time I use this. Um, if it doesn't get itself auto aligned right away, then there's a problem. And it's probably got bad information, bad data from another uh, time that I've used it, and I gotta reset it. So anyhow, uh, the whole idea here is that uh, this guy, um, well, let me, let me start from the beginning. First, Polaris is up there behind that branch. See that, see that branch right there? And, and if the wind blows, you can, you can see Polaris. But otherwise you can't see it so uh, having the polar scope on here is, is a great idea but it, it just doesn't work if you can't see Polaris I've been lucky enough where the winds blown so I have this scope basically pointing in the right direction and that's kind of crucial you need to do that you need to uh, try to get it lined up with Polaris once you do that then you turn this thing on and uh, the first thing it'll do is it'll say oh, I'm checking everything I'm gonna do you know check out your system and make sure everything's fine and it does normally um, on occasion it hasn't and I've had to reset the button right here I've uh, turned it on turned it off again and it resets and it's fine and then it says uh, you want to align this thing and you say yes I do want to align this thing and uh, it gives you a whole bunch of options. I pick the auto align uh, first. I let it do its thing. And it goes through everything and it buzzes and creeps and crawls and makes all kinds of weird noises. And it does that for about three, four minutes. And then 
at the very end of that, it says Star Sense ready, you know, or, or that it's lined up and hit enter to continue, which is great. That's what you'll see on, on this display when the thing's on. Um, it will say uh, continue. So you do that, and then the first thing you want to do to make this actually work is you skew to the brightest star you can find. So, on the keypad, right here it says stars, hit that, hit stars, and familiarize yourself with the brightest star you can find, okay? Use your cell phone, use a star chart, whatever. Uh, where I am, I can always see Arcturus and, and Vega. So, I'll hit stars and I will skew to one of the brighter ones, usually Vega. Uh, Vega is really easy to, to get in, and uh, usually on the auto align, this guy will will find Vega, and it'll be somewhere in this this eyepiece right here. Now I use uh, a 40 millimeter uh, just because I can see an awful lot, so I'm not trying to hunt and search for Vega. It's somewhere, it might be around the corner or whatever. And I get Vega in focus. Uh, you know, I center on the screen. And a lot of times I'll... Uh, oh, how did dog hair get in? Oh, geez, we got dogs. Um, a lot of times uh, I will pop the 40 out and I'll put in a higher uh, magnification lens. I'll, I'll put in, you know, like a 26 or a 20 or something like that. And I'll center Vega. And then I back out of that on uh, this controller here and I'll hit this button here it says menu so you go to menu hit that and travel down uh, use these scroll buttons up and down to get to the star sense menu and uh, the very first option is to calibrate so you calibrate this thing and it'll say, uh, since you've got Vega up there, uh, it'll, it'll ask you if you want to calibrate on Vega. And you say, yeah, sure, you betcha. And it'll say, do a coarse calibration and uh, get it kind of centered in your eyepiece and, and all that. And then it says, do a fine calibrate. And then hit enter and uh, do a fine calibration. If you're ever confused, use the um, <coughs> look at the display here. And it gives you all the instructions, what to do. And you scroll down this using the scroll button. See, it says scroll. So you scroll down and you can see that there's more instructions that keep going on the screen. Uh, which a lot of people, including myself, seem to miss. Uh, at the very end of calibration, you hit this button and that button and then a line, I believe follow the instructions and that will recalibrate it. After that you have to, um, when it says it's done calibrating, you have to um, do another alignment that takes three or four minutes and then you're done. Then everything should be coming in clearly there. And that's about it for right now. I'll probably add another video to this when it gets a little darker. Okay, bye now.